Hello Scorpio, welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you and Spirit does want to bring through a message direct for you and your circumstances. That's why you have clicked on this reading. You may see a sign, a symbol or a message on one of the cards or several that really resonate for you, your situation. Take notice of these things because that's where the message lies for you. And remain open to interpreting the messages more broadly than what the cards are saying because sometimes your intuition may be pulling you in a certain direction a particular meaning special to you um, significant to you uh, maybe what you see on the cards so let's take a look here at the message here so we have success so over the next couple of weeks there is going to be a dream come true there is going to be success it has that vibration incredibly strongly around you this is a great card to receive Scorpio. It's a turnaround and it's been something that you've been waiting on and it's a beautiful thing. So yes, you're going to have an upliftment as some kind of success is coming in for you. A beautiful card to start your reading and your next card is about not needing to worry. So you're going to have success and you don't need to worry about how this is going to happen or if it's going to take place because it will. No need to worry. So what you have been worried or anxious about, you can consciously over the next couple of weeks release those thoughts and those feelings and those energies. Beautiful. Let's take a look at this next deck for you. Guidance for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Guidance for Scorpio, let's see. Okay, this one here. So this is interesting, isn't it? Because we have the card of worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So yes, there's anxiety or there's worry happening. You may be having thoughts that go around and round in your mind without coming to a resolution. So it's about clearing away those energies. It's about learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. And in fact, the outcome is going to be success for you. Now, this may resonate for you on the level of you having anxious thoughts, partic not particularly about anything, but you have this um, feeling or you have these thoughts. And so the success may mean that you're overcoming those anxieties. And the second card for this deck is about surrendering. I can release my need to control. So they definitely go hand in hand, these two cards. The worry may be connected to some form of control. You can release the worry, release the control and breathe easy. It may seem very simple, but it can just take the consciousness to be aware of it before you're able to shift this energy. So let's see, Scorpio, what this deck reveals for you. Guidance for Scorpio. Yes, this card here I feel is yours. And it's the card of happiness. If happiness is what you want, then happy you shall be. So if you have an intention toward happiness, that's exactly what you will receive. And it's right below success. So you have success that brings happiness. Happy, your happiness, your mindset is going to bring success. So it's really important to maintain a high vibration mentally and emotionally over the next couple of weeks to bring through the positive vibrations and success and manifestations that you want to see in your life. And you have the card of strength. Inner strength is the power within that pushes action into all areas of life. 
And I love that on this dress, you have the sun, because that speaks of happiness, the sun, vibrancy, and things being out in the open. And so you're going to have inner strength over the next couple of weeks. You may be drawing upon your inner strength. This is true. But it's interesting that you're going, your strength is going to push you into some kind of action. Okay, so your strength, your inner strength is going to push you into some kind of action. No need to worry about this though. No need to worry about it. Guidance for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Guidance for Scorpio, let's see. Yes, I love this. Reach for your dreams. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. And you will, Scorpio, you will achieve your dreams. And now what dream you have, it's going to be different for each and every one of you, of course. But whatever it is, Spirit is saying that you're headed toward that direction at the moment. And look, it's right below worry. So there's no need to worry about the journey or about the outcome or whatever it is that you are worried about when it comes to reaching, reaching the heights that you want to reach, reaching your dreams, reaching a desired outcome. And this card is incredibly empowering because spirit is saying to you that you are the creator of your of your manifest life you're the creator of what comes in and so there's empowerment there wow so you've got some amazing cards coming through in this reading this is abundance and so you're going to over the next couple of weeks start to see an upliftment and abundance flow into your life I am grateful for the abundance nature and the universe provide in my life. So this is some kind of windfall for some of you. That's how it's going to come through as a windfall. It might come through financially or materially in some way. And for others, this may mean because I do see the, the, the water element here. So there may be there may be some emotional aspect here, so positivity um, or abundance, some positive things happening um, around emotions or relationships. Let's see what this deck reveals, Scorpio. You really do have some wonderful cards that have come out um, amazing energy around you over the next couple of weeks beautiful the nine of thought this speaks of the worry and anxiety insomnia thoughts that keep you up at night stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive there's no need to worry you know you have that three times you have that message three times coming through in this um, in this reading so it's it's an important message right now for you there's no need to worry anticipating the worst isn't helpful know that heaven will provide a solution if you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life Release the problem to your angels. So we have that message once again coming through of surrendering. Surrendering the need to control, surrendering the worry, the anxiety, surrendering whatever it is that is keeping you up at night. Surrendering that thing. Let's take a look at your next card. It's the three of action. Things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. So I love that it says here, uh, building upon your successes, because we have this card of success. So Yes, that energy is definitely around you. That's an important message. 
So you might want to build upon your victories, um, go to the next level, or perhaps you're going to decide to shift course and do something different. And your next card is the Two of Abundance. Life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change to your dream career. It's important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude brings success. Beautiful. So if things are out of balance in some way and it could be possible for you because you have so much worry around you, okay? So often when that happens, you have worry around you because something is not in balance. So I really do feel you're going to have the ability to bring some equilibrium into your life, into whatever is out of balance for you. Now, this is interesting because your next card is inner strength or the strength card. And I do believe, yes, you have strength here as well. So we have, and this is quite unusual that we get so many doubling up of messages. Sometimes we get one message that it doubles up, but not often several. So that's what's happening in this reading. So they're very important messages. You have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there's no problem you can't solve. The compassion you so freely give to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no. So setting up some strong boundaries for yourself is going to be very helpful over the next couple of weeks. Definitely helpful. You may need to withdraw or say no to drama or a situation that no longer serves you. And the devil energy here, it's about choosing freedom. You might need to make a choice that's in alignment with freedom for you in a circumstance. And this is the devil tarot card. So this aligns with Capricorn. So you may have a Capricorn. Also strength is um, Leo. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. So turning your thoughts around is what I'm seeing here. Um, The message is carried through throughout the reading, turning your thoughts away from worry, surrendering what no longer serves you here. So you can move into the abundance, the success, the happiness that's coming through and being shown with these cards. Beautiful messages coming through, Scorpio. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. It's been a pleasure to read for you. Take care, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.